Homesick by Catfish and the Bottle Man. So the song is in standard tuning. We've got a capo on the sixth fret. Uh, one thing I would advise if you're using a capo, because you can do this without a capo, um, but if you're using a capo, I would tune up after you put the capo on, because if you tune your guitar and then stick your capo on, it normally sends it out of tune where it's not applying pressure on every string evenly. So put your capo on and then tune it back up again. So the song starts like this. So, on the, I'm going to call these frets, because I've got a capo on six, I'm going to call them fret one, two, three, four, etc. Okay, so fret two of the D string and the open G string. Okay, so that's two and open. Then onto the A string, fret five and fret four of the D. Move that back to fret three of the A and two of the D. And then two of the A and open D. So. Then repeat that, but we're not gonna play the last one. We're only gonna play the first three. So that's two of the D, open G. Five of the A, four of the D. Three of the A, two of the D. Repeat the first section, so that's two and open. Five and four. Three and two. Two and open. Then we're gonna keep this finger here on the second fret of the A, and play the third fret of the bottom string together. So when we've been playing them, Separately, we're going to play these two together. So that'll be. And then we're going to play three of the E, two of the A, two of the A, no, two of the E, open A, open E, and then two of the D. So slowly, let's do the whole thing. So it plays that twice, then we've got this section. So, two of the D, four of the G, and three of the B. And we're going to play the D string and then the B and the G together. Then we've got five of the A, open B and open G together. Three of the A, and then we're gonna play open G and one on the B. And we're gonna play the G and the B together. Then we're gonna play the um, A, G and B again, but we're just gonna put the middle finger down on the second fret of the G. So play that bit again for you. Then we're going to play two, four, three again. So two of the D, four of the G, three of the B. Five of the A, open G and B. Three of the A, open G and one of the B. Back to two, four, three. Five and open, three open one, three of the A, two of the G, one of the B. Then we've got the three of the E and the open B. So that bit slowly. Then we're going to play three of the E, we're going to play four on the G and open B together. Then two of the E, two of the G and open B. 
So that bit again. And then we're going to finish open E, open G, open B. So. And that is the main riff that goes throughout the song. So for the chorus, we have the following three chords. E minor, D major, C major. So again, one more time, that is E minor, D major, C major. So over the choruses, we have this riff or something similar. So we're on six, and this is the other guitar, the guitar without a capo. So six of the B, eight of the G, six of the G, eight of the D, then on the D, six, eight, and then six, eight of the G, so. And then we have six of the B again, eight of the G, nine of the B, and then we're gonna play nine, six on the B, and then six, uh, eight six of the G, and then repeat, so. There are some other notes in there as well, but I can't quite hear what they are, so but that is pretty much what's going on in that chorus. So in the second verse, we come back in with and then we chuck that chord in there. So it's exactly the same as the first verse, so that's two open, so that's two on the D, open G, five of the A, four of the D, three of the A, two of the D, then two on the A, open D, repeat, but don't play that last bit, and then we're going to hit that C chord, and then we're back into the rest of the verse. Then in the last chorus we have this little solo. So, it's a pentatonic shape, and we're going to play on the bottom string, 1-4, on the A string, 1-3, on the D string, 1-3, on the G string, we're going to slide up to 5, and then play 3, so... Then we're going to bend four on the B string. And we're going to bend up a semitone. No, we're not. We're going to bend up a tone. And then we're going to play two of the B, three of the G. So. Then back to um, the pentatonic shape. So that's one, four. One three, one three, slide up to five on the G, down to three, and then we're going to hit this note again and play that little lick. So hit the three again on the G, two of the B, four of the B, bend up and then release, two of the B, three of the G. So. Thank you. 
Then we repeat the first lick. And then the final one is slightly different. And then we're going to play on the B string, 2-4, two, 2-1. Two, so if we put all those together slowly. And then the song finishes on the verse riff. Mm -hmm.